I'm Natalia Bonner. Welcome back. Okay, I'm excited to be here today and share just a little sneak peek, some fun machine quilting that I recently did on this awesome buffalo plaid quilt. So this is another one of my quilts that I actually pieced. So the piecing's not perfect. Actually, the quilting's not perfect either. So today I'll share a little bit of my process, but I do have a more in-depth video over in the Peace and Quilt Academy where I share the good, and the not so good. I don't often share the crazy things that happen, you know, the bad things that happen behind the scenes, but for today's video, I am sharing that over in the Peace and Quilt Academy. You can find that on our website, peaceandquilt.com. So before we hop over to this quilt and I share a little bit of the quilting, just a few little details. I do all of my quilt quilting on a Gamel 22 inch machine. This is hand guided quilting. Often I'm using my machine quilting rulers as well. When I'm doing my hand guided quilting, I have my stitch length set at 13 stitches per inch for this quilt. And the threads that I'm using on the top are so fine bottom line on my bobbin and I'm using one layer of the Quilter's Dream wool batting. Now I do have to tell you just one other quick thing. I recently upgraded to the brand new Gamel feet. Let me be honest, it took me a little bit to install these new feet on my machine just because it's a new something to put on the machine every once in a while. It just scares me a second. When I finally took the time to install these new feet and start quilting with them, I cannot say enough good things about these awesome new feet. So if you quilt on a gamel, make sure you check out these new feet. The ruler foot is what I'll be using here today. I can't wait to try out the new spoon foot and I'm dying to try some couching with the new couching foot. Plus there's a couple other feet that are just as awesome as well. So if you're looking for a new foot for your gamel, now's the time. These things are awesome. Alrighty friends, let's hop over to my machine and let's get stitching. All right, let's start here with a fun little clip as I take this quilt off of my machine. Now, as I'm scrolling through here or unrolling the quilt, you'll see that I alternated back and forth between a couple of fun simplistic designs. Then as I get up to the top of the quilt, you're probably going to notice the part where I screwed up or I didn't like it. The part I just don't like. Now I will tell you all the details about that over in the Peace and Quilt Academy and what I've decided to do with that part or maybe haven't decided. All right, let's move on and let's get quilting. So for this fun block, we are going to focus on just the white block. So this one, the machine quilting stands out definitely the most with busy prints like this. Sometimes it's really, really hard to see the quilting on camera. So the white block is the perfect block to really see that pink thread pop. I'm going to start out by using my four in one machine quilting ruler and stitching in the ditch all the way around the outside of the block. Once I've stitched in the ditch around the outside, I'm going to switch to my mini four in one machine quilting ruler and stitch point to point curves. Now those two rulers do have slightly different curves. That's why I switched to the mini. After I've stitched my first three point to point curves, I'm actually going to switch again and use my mini inside out to quilt that final curve. I love holding a machine quilting ruler close to my body. So often you'll see I'll work switching back and forth between rulers to whatever feels the most comfortable. I love how this design turned out. Like I said, you can find more of this quilt plus many more over in the Peace and Quilt Academy. Find all the details on our website, peaceandquilt.com. Have a great day, everybody. What's the best way to talk to giants? Ooh, you tell me. Use big words.